Right, here we go. I um, wanted to show a comparison uh, of the different ways in which you can put antiquing and resist and die together in combinations that will achieve something. So, put the hat stamp on a few, um, on, on this piece of leather, made eight impressions. That one I'm going to leave natural. This one I covered everything with neat lac, the new water-based neat lac. Here I just covered the hat with neat lac, only the background with neat lac. Here the hat with neat lac and the background dyed. Here just dyed the background. And then acrylic paint on the hat. This one I'm going to put acrylic paint on after I have added the um, antiquing. But when this dried, I saw that the neat lac made it darker and didn't lighten up as it dried. So you can see there, both on the hat and there, just didn't dry. So I had to redo the whole thing. I redid it on another piece of leather. I I don't know what that what le that leather was. Um, it tools really nice. I mean, you can see those impressions are really really nice that it it actually achieves with a nice burnish, but don't know what it is. So I took another piece. This is European single bend. Um, and did the same eight hats on there with the same treatment. Water by sneak lac on everything, just on the hat, on the background, on the hat. I dyed around the hat and I dyed around this hat. So I want to see what the effect will be of, of that. Um, so I'm gonna gonna do that um, quick. Okay, I'm gonna put a piece of brown paper underneath, and I uh, keep my work area fairly clean. I'm first gonna do the first piece I did. Um, so you're gonna see this twice, but here we go. So I have paper towel handy. To do the wiping off with and wool dauber that I'm going to use for this process and right here we go here we go This is the EcoFlow Highlight Stain. This particular one is the chestnut color. I like it for being a real classic leather color. So, and I've been asked how long do I let that sit to dry? I don't let that sit to dry at all. Keep moving it around, keep moving it around, make sure it goes into all the impressions that I have um, and that it doesn't dry anywhere because if it dries anywhere and then it's streaky. Now there's a remedy for that too but I'll show you that later. Okay so that's it. Now dry paper towel as fast as possible. Um, have a few sheets handy Okay, and there's my preliminary results. Um, the antique stain is still wet, but 
and I'll discuss this more a bit later, where I resisted everything, where I had no resist on, where I resisted the hat only, where I resisted the background only, dyed the background, dyed around the hat, resist, ach, not resisted, but had white acrylic on the hat. This is where I'm going to put white acrylic afterwards. So, okay, let's do the other piece, see how that comes out. And there it is. So, same thing there. And it's got to go on thick enough so that it actually changes the color of the leather because where there's no resist, this highlight stain also to some extent acts as a, almost as a dye. It changes the color of the leather. And so um, it's got to get a chance to do that. You can't apply it streaky because then you'll have a streaky effect. So you've got to make sure it goes on nice and thick. Nice and thick, nice and thick. Stays wet everywhere. Now if you're not fast enough and, and it does dry a bit streaky here and there, I'll show you later on how you can remedy that. Okay, there we go. We're good on this one. Patel. Okay, there we go. So, you can also do this with a wet, damp rag, and it will pick up more aggressively. Um, but I want to show you another trick, so I'm leaving it like that. Okay, there we go. Um, that's how that came out for now. Maybe that hat has a bit too much antiquing you can play around with that a bit okay and there you see the results um, you can see that the, the white acrylic almost uh, acts as a well it does it acts as a resist as well but it gets quite a bit of the uh, antiquing on top of it so you can't even see that it was actually white underneath kind of looks just like the one that was resisted um, so okay there's there's the results now you'll see in this case there's not much of left of the dark dye that I used around these two and um, we'll see after we've covered and done it how after it's dried what it looks like um so there we go for now that's where we're going to leave these two guys so that they can dry out and we'll get back with it again <laughs> 